multiply the polynomials. Let's go ahead and work through this carefully. Solution. So the way I do this, I just take each one of these and then just distribute it. So first we'll do x times 5x. So x times 5x, well you multiply the x's, that'll give us 5x squared. And then we do x times negative y, that'll give us minus xy. And last but not least, we do x times z, and that will give us plus xz. So again, we just take the x, and we multiply it by each of these, by 5x, by y, and by z. Now we just do the y. Let's go ahead and do that. So then it's y times 5x, that's going to give us 5xy. And then y times negative y, that'll become a negative y squared. And last but not least, y times z will give us plus yz. Pretty intense problem. And the very last part is going to be just distributing the negative 2z. So let's see, negative 2z times 5x will give us a negative 10zx. And then negative 2z and negative y is going to be a positive 2zy, right? Because it's a double negative. And then negative 2z times z will be negative 2z squared. All right, now we just have to combine everything and we will be done. So let's see. Let's look at the x squared terms. I think this is the only one. So it'll be 5x squared. What about the xy terms? Hmm, looks like we have one here and one here. So that's going to give us 4xy because it's 5xy minus 1xy. So that's 4xy. So plus 4xy. And then xz terms, there's one here. And oh, oh, I almost messed up. I almost didn't see it. Look, there's a zx term. That's the same thing as an xz term. So we have 1xz minus 10xz. So that's going to give us minus 9xz. Then we have the y squared. That's by itself. There's no other y squared. So notice how I put little symbols above them as I go through them so I don't double count. And then yz, we have no yz terms other than this one. Oh, we do. There's a zy term. Same thing. That's going to be 1yz plus 2yz. So that's 3yz. And all that's left is the minus 2z squared. Really, really intense problem. I almost messed up twice. Um, just be really, really careful. I hope this video has been helpful.